Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a really fast way to get an antique look with your images. And it's easy to do and doesn't take much time at all so let's just jump right into it. I'm starting here with this um, image of a little girl. I find that this look works best if you've got more dramatic lighting as opposed to flat, um, even soft type lighting. So um, Take the image you want, and then we're going to take a texture file. This one here is called Antique Filter, and I'm going to tell you a little bit later on how you can get this uh, texture. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and drag it onto here. And then what we need to do is make it size to the right, to the same size as the our file. You're going to do that by hitting Command T, or on the Mac, or Control T on the PC bring up these little things and we're just going to grab a corner shrink it up a little bit so it all fits on here and I'm going to line up the top corner up here and then grab the bottom one down here until we've covered the entire image hit enter there you go if we look at our layers palette here you'll see that the texture here is on top down below is our photograph all you have to do at this point is while you have the top layer highlighted go up to the blending mode here and choose overlay and there you go it gives you a nice uh, warm rich tone to it gives us some uh, little dust and speckles around it and even gives some some vignetting here's again here's the before and the after so it's a pretty cool look if you decide that this is too strong of an effect you can back it off a little bit take it from 100 down to 90 or, or whatever it is you like but it, it's a really cool effect and it's quick and easy to do again all you really need is your own image and this filter if you like this look and you want to give it a try with some of your own images you can follow the link below and it'll take you to my blog and just go through to the end of the uh, blog post and it'll tell you how to get this texture right here for free so Go ahead and download it. Try it with some of your images. Let me know what you think. And be sure to check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.